Um, not much else. They're actually going to go ahead and get right to it. These two players are getting started right now. Let's see how these go down. Going to be Inkling and... Probably won't go. Yeah, okay. We'll go ahead and get this started. We'll see how this goes down. Start actually from both these two. Unless they're doing it a bunch like of which yeah. it looks like. Yeah, it looks like I, a bunch. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, because the, one of the last games that Gluttony played, it looked like a button check too, but then they just started anyway. Like, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but okay, button check. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> They're actually going through it after 30 seconds. I guess maybe Gluttony just wanted 30 seconds of warm-up time and then they can just go into it. That's Very fair. interesting, yeah. I don't expect any timeouts. We haven't gotten anything close to that this whole day. Yeah, let's see how this goes down. I mean, Gluttony just kind of woke up from a nap on the couch, so maybe he needed to practice a bit just to wake up. I mean, he, he must be very jet-lagged. I mean, coming all the way from France must be pretty tiring on the body. I can see that. I can see that. Oh, no uh, chase, but he gets a chomp afterward. Great shield pressure coming from Gluttony and great decision making as well. Yeah, having a command grab allows you to get those 50-50s and makes your opponent think a lot more. Doesn't get the up air, just jumps right out of it. Uh, yeah, collecting that bike. Yeah, it's a, it's a good idea too to be able to edge guard, and he always gets Chag with that. He gets a lot of players with that, honestly. He catches that jump with that bike. Still catching the up air to the face. Down to gonna get that down so dash attack still not quite kill confirming yet. But it's very, very close. If you get that the ledge or it's there to catch the ledge, that's very nice stuff coming from. I well. I almost I almost never see Wario use down air like in the neutral. It's always sort of like this off stage presence. Okay, good now. Ooh, that would have been really sweet if he DI'd in. Gets a drag down. I guess that there uh, actually Still not gonna be able to seal out the kill though, but this is extra damage, just calling out Inkling's uh, vulnerable recovery. <laughs> oh, that was a really snazzy cross up. Uh, still getting hit though, still getting punished. Yeah, Gloomy was aware of it, so he was able to just turn it back around, get that down throw. With the behind him and the forward tilt, no one yeah. can spot the ledge that close, so. He just went for it and he was able to close it out. That was impressive. Okay, good shield. Oh my goodness, these reaction times. Where can I get me some of those? I think the bigger thing is just that he wasn't trying to shield grab Roller. He just tried to, he went up for a jump uh, chop instead. That way he could get the jump cancel that Chag has been doing so well and catching a lot of people off guard with. Look at that. Oh man. That is such a well formulated little jab lock. Look at that. Not quite killing Wario, uh, heavy man, but still. Lots of damage and great, great positional advantage. I love it. Yeah. It was a really great punish on pressing buttons because he was trying to get up attack after that jab lock, but he dashed away and just got able to get another roller out of it. Oh, yeah, and there's that first hitbox you were talking about. Oh, that is such a hard. That Nair is so hard to punish. It really is. And I think Chag needs to like revert back to when he was fighting Leafy when Leafy was hitting him on the shield so often and being able to get away with going through another option. Uh, it seems like Wario can still do that with Nair, so he's he's got to be very careful about this because Nair is like meat and potatoes. Oh, he got that parry in. Trying to realize how he's approaching, but check your situation. Gets that up tilt. Yes, uh, into the wrap. That's yeah. gonna be it. That was just great waiting from Gluttony. He said, "Okay, I'm gonna wait here. You have basically one option. You can either roll towards me or you can roll away because you're not gonna think that fast." And then he just called it out, got the up tilt, and then that. Close it out very nice. Yeah, look at that. Town and City. Man, I love that people are using Town and City more because I actually really, really like this stage in this game. Um, it, it seems like if PS2 doesn't work, Town and City will. Uh, yeah. as, as somebody who does uh, competition like once a week, I gotta say, Town and City is definitely a safe place. It's a relatively neutral stage as well. It's got the white space and it's got a pretty tall ceiling to counteract any like first kill option. So. I can see why it's a lot of people's second pick. I also just like the strange stage transitions as well. Splat Bomb. That Splat Bomb has put in so much work for Chag. Uh, he's very good at reading. Very good at reading. OK. 
Okay. Right. Yeah, Wario. is keeping up the space. He's using that speed against Wario to try and space away. He's got a lot of room to work with on this stage, so gloony has got to be a little bit more careful how he approaches. But he's been doing a good job of catching up, landing with, uh, or just trying to land in general anyway. Wow, that Nair, after seeing that the forward air whiffed, he's like, eh, why not? I'll try the Nair, and it worked out perfectly. Uh, landing Nair, it's an affair, keeps the string off, it doesn't quite clip the jump, he's able to jump away in time. But still great out of shield option, catching that roller. Oh, that Nairy! See, that's a really good option, instead of just shielding it, but that's very hard, because there are two hitboxes to it. Good air dodge as well. Yeah. Lots of damage there. Okay, and Gluttony basically just trying to wear, uh, let the ink wear off. Okay, intercept in the air. Ooh, and a board tilt, actually. He's got himself a slight deficit, but he's got an opportunity here. He just gets mm. by the up tilt. Yeah, Jack, Jack seems to be getting hit by that bike quite often. Okay, I'm trying to use the splat bomb to try to cover his uh, cover his bases. All right, regrab? No, not quite. I think he landed on the platform, so it didn't count as a regrab this time around. Great chase, catches some pressing buttons. And I don't think I saw uh, Gluttony DI at all with that throw. Mm, ah, the platform catching him. Trying to make a decision. I thought, he, I think he thought that he could fastball through it, but he didn't quite make that happen in time. And uses the bike, gives him a taste of his own medicine. No ink available. Oh yeah, he's gonna be able to recharge all of that back. It's one hit. Okay, trying to catch a jump from Gluttony. Maybe he's reading Gluttony's jumps. Ah, yeah, killing horizontally. Yep, I think he was trying to dash back, and that just caught the bad DI on it. Gluttony all of a sudden with Waft available could bring this back into his lead. We'll have to see how he does it though. You know what I've noticed? I have not seen Neutral B at all from Inkling today. It's a pretty uh, good move. It's, it's kind of unsafe sometimes depending on how the character approaches. So I can see why Jack would pop not to go for it. So. Yeah, especially the way that these guys are playing neutral right now. It's kind of hard to breathe. Back throw? Okay, goes for down throw. I don't know if like when he was off for like a cross stage kill. I don't know if it yeah, even does that obviously for a back throw. Okay, get all that ink back. Man. <laughs> and Glutani is just getting just nice little incremental damage. Chase doesn't get the upsell though. Oh man, he's just trying to catch Jack, like jumping out and trying to land on him with an aerial. It's not quite happening though, and all of a sudden it's very scary. One up tilt. There we go. Man, but 234. That's kind of high. Okay, good jab. Oh, not quite. Yeah, trying to get into the center of the stage immediately, getting hit by that backhand. Okay, that's guarding time. Fourth throw. Ooh, you're trying to put him onto the platform. I like that a lot. Yep, taking that one down. So Chag actually wave lads on that, so I feel like he can use that as a as the same option so he can retain back a double jump. Here we go. Chag, or actually, dead even game actually using that back air to close it out. Now a big opportunity. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure throwing that bike out right after the, the chomp. Oh my god. Yeah, and you know, Gluttony is getting punished for his jumps. Not quite killing, though. Yeah, and I think Chag's awareness of these of these jumps from Gluttony is going to end up costing him. Oh, uh, trying to climb up there, but the sweet spot was too wide on that window. But now, all of a sudden, Gluttony oh, turned it back around and it gets yep. the up smash. Mm. That was a nice little mix-up, because like I was saying before, I don't really see a whole lot of dare on yes. stage. So when he did use the dare on stage as a bit of a cross-up, he thought, oh, okay, well, there's a lot of end lag on it. Apparently not enough. Okay, um, yeah, that's what we need right now, so. Okay, potential last game for Gluttony. Wow, he looks really tired. <laughs> Man, European players, I'm being shout out to Mr. R for doing what he does. Three, I, I can very two, I can imagine. One, yeah, Mr. R go. chilling at Sky's place right now. Okay. Ooh, ah, uh, not quite getting the, the short hop there, but you know, still got the jab. Oh, that backer was so clean. Okay, 
Oh, no. Even game. I like that, I like that. He was using the bike to cover himself while he got more ink. He didn't even really need to do that either, but he was like, eh, I have the position. Ooh. Except Fair tries to go chase down, but he's got the bike available, so he can take those risks. Yeah. Would have been a nice hearty kill without it. There we go. Speaking of nice hearty kills, he got it with that back air. Nice little disjoint. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, we're good. Wow, just like, nah, close your mouth, dude. Yeah, oh. really, Jack is really turning up the heat here. Oh, I like that he shields the hitbox he knows about the Inkling matchup in that specific scenario. Let yep. himself keep this cool, and he's able to get that down smash quick punish to be able to catch that landing. Yeah, I mean, after getting comboed like that, it must be nice and refreshing to be able to end that stock immediately after. Ooh, that was a snazzy up air. Wow, after almost. After is pretty much a guaranteed combo, and I got 55%, so. Man, these guys are just trading blows. Oh, that parry. Yep. Uh, that's wow. so true. Even the medium-sized one is able to do it. He might even be able to get a walk before the end of this match. Oh, and the chase continuing on with his damage. Already 24%. Gets another, no, he doesn't quite fastball it correctly. <gasps> oh, he got so many hits off of that bike and it landed into a forwarder. He got so much damage. Just <laughs> running straight at him. Oh, wow. Yeah, these guys are really varying in their options when they're getting hit uh, before Great they get tech. hit. Got the bike available still. No! Well, he. He was able to get a little bit of waft, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't depend on it now. Polini's smiling. I think he really did not mean to do that. I think he was probably trying to drop down, jump back up, but he just did the drop down, and that led to that. Yeah. Wow, quick 55. Wow, okay, okay. Nice little down tilt, just kind of colliding with that uh, that roller. Big opportunity for Chag to bring it back around. Pulls out the bike. The oh, oh yeah, that was one hell of a tech chase. Good stuff to Glutoni.